For the academic community, the pandemic had disruptive effects, but there were also unexpected benefits. Now is the time to decide how to deal with the consequences of the crisis. For some academics, the pandemic offered many new opportunities. For others, the pandemic meant new divides. Divides between those with and without care tasks. Divides between disciplines but also divides between scholars with and without tenure. And most affected by the pandemic were young researchers, PhDs and postdocs. If we want to avoid a lost generation of researchers, we need to develop strategies of how to deal with the consequences of the pandemic for them. The pandemic has also highlighted once again the important societal role of academics but also how important it is that academics know how to communicate to the public and that they can do so safely without the risk of being threatened or politicized. The pandemic was also a crash course in digitalization and now is the momentum to decide how we can use digital technology to our benefit for internationalization, for inclusion, and for reducing our ecological footprint. In the meantime, academia has also become very dependent on big tech, which can clash with academic values. So let's also look for alternative tools, for alternative digital infrastructures and ways of balancing the negotiation power between universities and big tech. In our report, we signal how important it is that we develop a vision of how to deal with the long-term consequences of the crisis for academia and academics. <music>